We are in the town of Stringfield, USA, home to the family living at the corner of Maple and Cedar Streets. Two sisters are the violins. Their playing is uncanny. A pair of talented young twins. Here is Faddle. And here's Franny. Franny is called the first violin. She is cute and she is perky. Sometimes though, to tell the truth, Franny acted pretty jerky. Mother Viola hugged and kissed her, saying, Franny, please act more like your sister. Faddle treats her bow with care, rosining its long white hair. Dabney Double Bass, their father, gave them all a firm foundation, helped them with their education. He has such a sense of rhythm, it's great fun when they play with him. Uncle Chester is the cello. What a tall and handsome fellow. He can sing and jump and scoop. He's the tenor of the group. And now it's time for our story. On a bright and sunny day, Franny and Faddle went out to play. And their mother, Viola, had this to say. Franny, you're a foolish fiddle. Your behavior is a riddle. Don't run off. Don't dilly-daddle. Franny, please act more like Faddle. Why? asked Franny. Because, said Viola. The fiddle bow thief will bring you grief just when you least expect it. Look high and low, watch over your bow, and cherish and protect it. The fiddle bow thief, he's big and fat. The fiddle bow thief, he wears a hat. The reason for his doing that is to hide his hairless dome. He'll sneak inside and all around. He'll search the trees. He'll search the ground. He'll never stop until he's found new hair for him to comb. Sister Faddle always paid close attention to Mother Viola's warnings. But Franny, Franny, she heard, but she didn't listen. She just kept on singing and skipping. Fiddle bow thief, well, fiddle dee dee. I'm Franny the fiddle, you can't catch me. Just stay far away in your dreary bow cave. You'd better be good, you'd better behave. My mom says you're rough, but I'm smart and I'm tough. So bow thief, beware, you better take care. Foolish Franny, while running and leaping, she just isn't listening, as someone is creeping up, 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 and wham! 
The fiddle bow thief snuck up on Franny's beautiful bow with its long white hair, snatched up the panicked little bow, shouting his warning as he ran. Those who would dare to take back their hair from my secret lair will meet with despair. I've got a new bow with hair shining bright. I'll glue down this hair on my bald head tonight. I'll close all my windows, I'll lock up my door, and soon I'll no longer be bald anymore. And he drove off in his bowmobile, arrived at his bow cave, and took a nap. Franny ran, crying all the way home, bitter, plinking tears. Franny could no longer play smooth and legato. A violin with no bow can play only pizzicato. Uncle Chester, the cello, sadly sighed in his voice, sweet and mellow. Oh, Franny, oh, woe, this much I know. If you haven't a bow, your playing can only be plinky and clinky, or plunky and clunky. You'll play like a monkey. Addio, legato. Bon voyage, spiccato. If you can no longer trill, then you can no longer thrill. What to do? How to retrieve Franny's bow from that horrible fiddle-bow thief. But Franny had a cunning plan. Okay, Franny said. I don't have my bow, but I still have my brains and lots of pluck. To get my bow back takes more than good luck. The fiddle-bow thief's asleep in his bed. He's dreaming my bow is the hair on his head. Mom, I'm no longer your foolish young daughter. I have an idea. Fill a pot full of water. And when it starts boiling and everything's ready, we'll throw in a box of big fat spaghetti. And soon the spaghetti will be soft and icky, and then we'll add glue to keep it all sticky. Then we'll serenade Bow Thief while he is still sleeping, while into his cave we're quietly creeping. We'll rescue my bow from the Bow Thief's dark lair, and we'll give that old Bow Thief a dreadful headful of icky, sticky spaghetti hair. Shh! I can already hear Bow Thief snoring. And so the string family crept up to the bow cave. They put on their softest mutes and sang, rock a bye bow thief, in your bow cave. Here's a pot of spaghetti to make you behave. Listen. Just stay fast asleep as your spirits we low with a head full of pasta on top of your bald and thick skull. While Franny crept silently and rescued her frightened bow, Faddle and Uncle Chester quietly glued spaghetti to Bow Thief's bald head. Franny and her bow are united once more while Spaghetti had Bow Thief's asleep on the floor. Tomorrow, when Bow Thief will open his eyes, his Spaghetti Head of Hair will give him an awful surprise. But Franny learned her lesson. No matter what else you're doing, always keep your eyes on your bow. The family of strings all went home to celebrate, shouting, string along with us. What a gutsy family we are, faddle. Dabney, 
viola, Chester, Franny, and a very, very frustrated spaghetti headed fiddle bow thief. Strings who bow together, strings who glow together, one happy family fiddling all the day. Learning from one another, listening to dad and mother, playing music like only strings can play. Strings who bow together, strings who glow together, one happy family fiddling all the day. Learning from one another, listening to dad and mother, playing music like only strings can play.